A cup of coffee seems to really put us in the holiday mood. It's like tasting the holidays in your own cup. Every year, coffee companies release their holiday blends, but here's a way you can save money and recreate these delicious drinks at home without hurting your wallet. Welcome back to Food for Thought, I'm Nicole. For any of the following recipes, you can use milk of your choice, and you'll see that the recipes call for espresso or black coffee as a substitute. If you don't have an espresso maker at home, use regular coffee. For a peppermint mocha, you'll need mocha sauce, peppermint syrup, espresso or black coffee, milk and whipped cream. Put some peppermint and chocolate syrup into a mug and mix in coffee. The coffee needs to be hot enough to melt the syrups. Top with whipped cream, chocolate syrup, and crushed peppermint. Peppermint adds to the festive flavor and look of this holiday drink. Eggnog, a holiday classic. This drink will be sure to be sweet and creamy. For an eggnog latte, you'll need espresso or black coffee, eggnog, milk, and a pinch of nutmeg. Brew espresso or black coffee, combine eggnog and milk. Steam or heat the milk in the microwave and whisk using a fork. Add the mixture to your coffee while stirring. Add sugar if needed. And garnish with whipped cream and sprinkled nutmeg on top. Another holiday tradition is gingerbread. Normally used in gingerbread houses and cakes, you can spice up your coffee with gingerbread too. For a gingerbread latte, you'll need milk, ground ginger, ground cinnamon, sugar, espresso or black coffee, whipped cream, and a pinch of ground nutmeg. Place milk, ginger, cinnamon, and sugar in a saucepan. Heat on medium-high and stir often until almost boiling. Remove from heat and place the lid on top and place it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Reheat and prepare espresso and combine into mug. Top with whipped cream and sprinkle of nutmeg. These holiday coffee hacks will save you some money this season and spice up your coffee with traditional holiday ingredients. Thanks for watching Food for Thought.